Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're gonna to be talking about creating cheap and easy DIY bird toys. Now I'm not alone in today's video. Not only have I got chip and fish for a change, I've also got my lovely boyfriend, David. Hello. And uh, he's actually gonna be starting his own channel soon. So I'm gonna pop it in the description if you want to go and take a peek, that'd be very cool. So do you wanna tell the guys what we're gonna be getting up to today? Sure, we'll be talking about making some very cheap and easy DIY bird toys. Things you can find around the house, things you can source very cheap online. Maybe even something you can make out of a dessert. Fantastic. And then once we have created the lovely bird toys, we're going to show you what our birds think of them. And hopefully they're going to like them. So without further ado, let's get started. For our first DIY bird toy, you're going to need two glass ramekins, your bird's favourite treat, in this case millet, some paper straws and a pair of scissors. So let's get them out of the way. So if you're anything like us, you love your desserts, we happen to love these goo desserts. They're very tasty. Uh, we're not sponsored by goo, but if they fancy sponsoring us, we'd be more than happy to get some free desserts. Um, we find these very tasty, we love them, but what's great about them is they come with these lovely glass ramekins. Now, these glass ramekins are great because they're deep enough for your bird to have to dig into. They're heavy enough that most birds can perch on them without them tipping over. Please don't put them on um, a kitchen counter or anything, near your edge or anything. I know you're pretty sensible there. But they're just generally very good as a foraging toy. Now, after you've got these, all you have to do is get your bird's favourite treat. Just crumble it up finely into the ramekins. I'm only going to do it in one here. Let's get some more of that. And then after that, you need to pop in your paper straws. Now, if you just cut them about one and a half inches, start with this green one. Now, just by popping these in here, it's making it a little bit more difficult for the birdies to get their um, treats. So instead of just having to literally feed from it, they have to dig around inside the foraging toy. So I'm only going to do two here as an example because there'll be plenty of that. If you want to, you can use uh, bird safe bedding, shredded paper, as long as it's safe for your birds, you can use anything in this. You can stir it up and they literally just all have to do is perch on it and dig around for their food. And it makes it more engaging and it encourages natural foraging behaviour. These are sort of the sort of things you can find all around the house. If you're going to make any sort of substitutions, make sure they're bird safe. For example, I wouldn't recommend using plastic straws as they're not bird safe. And we're going to see, let it bounce out there, we're going to see what the flock thinks of these. So for the next bird toy, you're going to need some toilet rolls, some small cardboard boxes, your bird's favorite treat. You're also going to need some shredded bird safe paper, and then any other bird toys that you might have around the house that you can put to good use. So let's get started. Now, I'm sure many of us have got toilet roll in our house and you're gonna end up with loads of different toilet rolls. Um, so we keep ours to one side because it's so easy to make bird toys out of them. We also have these little Kellogg's uh, mini cereal boxes. They're not the best because they are single use, but they are perfect size for pickles. And of course, not sponsored by uh, Kellogg's, but um, if you want to, we're all ears. Um, so basically the idea is to make a, another kind of foraging treat. So you're going to want to get some of your shredded paper. Now birds say shredded paper needs to be coloured with food dye. If it's not coloured with food dye, there's a good chance that it's going to be toxic. So make sure that it's safe. This one is from Northern Parrots and I'm going to pop a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, which means we get a tiny proportion of the money and it will all go towards the birds. So it's totally up to you if you'd like to click on it. So what I do, I'm making a bit of a mess, but I'm going to stuff some of that paper in there and then I'm going to get some of my bird's favourite treats, which are millet, which we're going to talk about a lot in this video. I'm going to pop a couple of buds in there and then one of these finger traps. As I said, we've got some of these lying around. You can buy them in packs of 12, again, from Northern Parrots. Uh, so I'll pop one of those in there and then shove some more. Ooh, 
crepe paper in there and that makes a really fun toy that they can pull out all of this paper find some tasty treats inside and it's all made of natural materials that you might be able to find around the house now you can do the same with cereal boxes this is pickles favorite um foraging toy she loves to chew these to bits but if you have got bigger birds than we do you can substitute these with bigger boxes like bigger cereal boxes uh, biscuit boxes and of course kitchen roll tubes so this is kind of the finished product i'm going to do the same with this toy now i'm going to shove some of this paper that i've got absolutely everywhere inside here and of course if you've got something other than the finger traps like we have then of course pop them in your toy as long as everything is bird safe and if you're not sure if something's bird safe of course pop it in the comments and i can let you know a couple of tasty treats popped in the box job done let's see what the flock think of these For our next DIY bird toy, this one's an incredibly easy one. It's very, very easy to do. You will need your bird's favourite assortment of treats. In this case, we have a Nutriberry, we have some dried fruit, um, some millet, as we always do, some um, pumpkin seeds, and some dried chilli. You also need cake cases. These are awesome. If you don't have access to them, fear not, you can just use small squares of printer paper. So, start with a cake case. This one. Just get your cake case, then just pop a few of your bird's favourite treats in there. So in this case, we're just going to pop some millet, a dried chilli, um, some dried fruit, and a pumpkin seed. All you do, just scrunch it up like a little parcel. Now, if you're just first introducing this to your bird, you may want to keep it very loose so the bird can see what's actually inside. Once they get a bit more experienced like ours, you can make it a very difficult parcel, and it encourages them to try and chew it open and get the reward. So now we made that one, very, very easy. You can use the printer paper version. So for this one, I'm just gonna put a little bit of sesame stick, people's favorite tree in there, a pumpkin seed, and again, millet, she quite likes that too. Just fold it over, scrunch up the sides. Now this one doesn't look quite as pretty, but I assure you, it's just as fun for your bird. In fact, in some ways they can just shred it, and then eventually the toy will fall out, and they can enjoy eating that. But it's as simple as that. And just from maybe 20 seconds of effort, you've made some very fun foraging toys for your birds that gives them a reward, encourages a bit of mental stim stimulation, and gets them to chew. So for today's final bird toy, you are going to need an egg box and then all of the broken bird toys that your bird has destroyed in your home. Now parrots of course in nature are destructive and you're probably going to find that they've destroyed their toys and you've got all these bits and pieces lying around that may end up in the bin, but fear not, you can create them into a brand new toy. So. Grab your egg box, which you need to make sure has no egg residue on it at all, like my one. And then I've just chopped the lid off. You can save this for another toy, because it's like a little bowl. I'm going to put that to one side now. And then you've got the bottom of the carton. So what you need to do is get your bird's favourite treat, which we have already said is millet. We're going to pop a bit of millet, we can crush a little bit up, we can put whole buds in there. Get it all over the egg carton. And then... All you need to do is grab all of these bits and bobs from all of your previous bird toys and just pop them into each part of the carton. And this means that your toys have a new lease of life, even the cake cases that you used in the previous DIY can go in there too. And then you've got a lovely bird toy. So this is another way of promoting mental stimulation and foraging behaviours for your bird, but if they don't know what to do, Please do show them because some birds can be a bit intimidated by this so show them that there's treats underneath and then they'll need to learn to pick them up with their beaks or even their feet sometimes and then they can get the treats now you can also make this a little bit harder if your birds know what they're doing and you can put the top of it on top but for the purposes of it looking nice i've shown you like this and this can be scaled up as well for bigger beaks you can make this harder for larger birds with a stronger bite so let's see what the birds think of this final toy
us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. We hope your birds enjoy these toys. Please let us know how they get on in the comments. So from me, David and Pickles, thank you so much for watching and take care and see you later.